what is up guys my name is Kimu welcome back to another video so today we've got a weird episode because my audio didn't record so I'm actually replaying the video and gonna commentate over the audio for the most part and then I'm gonna have to speed up the uh actual footage of the raid because that that was i i'm not gonna be able to commentate that like word for word so right now you're watching me uh i should be opening up a crate key in a little bit um so the reason why they were giving out crate keys was because of uh it was curtis's uh birthday who's like an admin on the archon he's like a server developer and uh he it was his birthday so of course i guess he gave out a crate key to everyone and uh luckily i was online uh at the time that he uh was giving it out because i i'd known about it in the beginning so yeah i was i was pretty hype um about this crate key so let's just open it up right now <laughs> i have no clue what i got i, I completely forgot now now I'm, i remember oh yeah 20k that's what we got we got 20k this is all right um for a crate key um i actually eventually gave that away to my faction members i gave like 10k to two different people so, yeah, but uh, I'm going to be able to commentate uh, a little bit extra um, in this uh, episode. So, uh, for the next part of this episode, we're going to go and we're going to fix up my uh, F home um, with the rest of my faction, which should be a lot of fun. So, I'll be back when we start work on the F home. All right. Okay, so we are here. Um, at the factions, the F home for our faction, we're here with uh, a couple of the fans, and really what we want to do is, uh, we want to make a cow farm, and that's, it's kind of hard, it's going to be a little bit hard to build this cow farm because we don't want people stealing the money, uh, like, we don't want people to take the cow farm if they can, uh, but we want people to be able to open up the chest to take the loot. So, uh, what I think I'm going to do is somehow owner claim a chunk, and then, build the cow farm in that chunk and like make it so that people can go into that chunk but they they can't like reach the cow farm or the cat the spawners pretty much and then uh make it so that they can actually open up the uh what's it called the chests uh open up the chest of the cow farm so i'm gonna try to work this out so that uh it works so that the whole faction can get money from this cow farm but uh we'll see how this turns out because i'm not really sure exactly what is going to happen so uh I'll be back uh, when we have this cow farm done, and I'll show you guys around. Okay, so uh, we have actually finished up the cow farm. It wasn't too hard to build. Uh, it was actually pretty easy to build, actually. Uh, the only problem was, like, <laughs> there's so many people online, and everyone was talking. So, like, every five seconds, I was, like, typing in chat and stuff. So, uh, really, wh how it works is, like, uh, I AFK up there at the top. You can see the name of my alt, my hack is skill. Um... And it'll AFK, um, I should probably have that on, like, at all times, and then, uh, no one can actually break it except for me, like, uh, and the admins, I guess, of the faction can actually break it. But then, uh, the cow stuff that drops should go all the way down to the bottom, and then they should actually just, like, fill up there, so it's, like, seven double chests of, uh, like, steak, which is gonna be sweet, because, uh, it's like 100k, so we're just making the, the faction richer by this, and uh, it should be good. It's, a, it's actually a nice uh, cow farm design because no one's going to be able to steal stuff, um, but everyone's going to be able to take from it, which is actually nice. So uh, that is it for my F-Home work. That's really all I wanted to do with F-Home. Um, I really want to leave the F-Home up to what uh, the faction wants to do with it, like if they want a sugarcane farm. I'll let you guys build a sugar cane farm and I'll help you guys out, but I'm not going to live in here most of the time. So that is it. So uh, we'll be back with a raid at uh, hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully we can just get a raid. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so we're here um, with the faction Kings, which is kind of weird because I'm pretty sure these guys used to be named Red Solo Cup. And if you guys remember this faction from a little bit ago, they actually tried to raid our base. And now we're teaming up with them to try to raid uh, like a common enemy kind of type of deal. Nymphis, which we've been trying to raid for a couple of days. And yeah, so we have a pretty easy raid on them. Uh, we're just teaming up with these guys. So uh, I'll be back if we can get into this base. Hopefully we can with these guys, but maybe... 
we might not be able to. So I'll be back when we get into this base, or hopefully get into this base. Okay, so uh, we have actually gotten into the faction Nymphis um, with my alt account because their faction is open. Um, you no need to invite, and what is really, really like funny is that uh, we got into the faction, we got into the base, um, but then the base was owner claimed, but like one corner wasn't so that we got into it, but uh, the, we couldn't break any blocks, so what we just did is we killed my alt a bunch of times, and now we're actually over claiming them uh, because we got my alt down to negative 10 uh, out of 10, which was pretty funny. Uh, we just killed it a bunch of times. It was uh, way too much fun. It wasn't. It, it shouldn't have been fun, but it was actually fun. So uh, we were actually just mining into this base, mining right in, and this is going to be a sweet raid because they just have so much stuff. Like, they have, if we had caught them at a better time, we would have been able to uh, nether, not nether rent, <laughs> not nether rent, we would have been able to take their spawners, their uh, iron golem spawners, but this is enough uh, for us because we, look at this, look at this stuff, look at all these swords. Like, oh my goodness, that is crazy. All of these pickaxes, it is crazy. Uh, they don't have too much armor sets, but that is fine. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up this raid. Uh, I'll be back uh, when we do my outro. So uh, I'm going to speed up this raid. And I hope you guys enjoy watching it. Um, this is going to be a weird episode to watch because there's not audio in it. Uh, because my audio failed to record, but... That is, that is fine. So I hope you guys enjoy this speed raid. And uh, okay. I'll see you guys at the outro. Story. It's just a little touch of fate. It'll be okay. It sure takes its precious time. But it's got right, and so have I. I turn my head to the sky. Focus wide and go at a time. I do not like the little breeze. I'm done my time and fall asleep. It couldn't be a long time. I feel like I'm walking blind. I know.
Well, uh, thank you guys for watching this weird episode. It is that time again uh, of the episode. <laughs> that, that time of day, that time of something. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it is the end of the episode. We're just going to open up this last crate key. We're here at spawn with dead. But uh, this is in the... This is after I uh, recorded this. That's why uh, we're speaking. So, yeah. Let's open up this crate key. What are we going to get from this crate key? What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Up oh, $50 sword kit. That's all right. I guess we can take the gapples. But uh, I'm sorry for this episode being a bit weird um, with the no re audio recorded. I have it fixed. I, I don't know why it messed up. I guess when I was trying to record that, like, that pudding story i guess my audio messed up but i'm sorry so thank you guys for watching my name is kimu and have a fantastic day today peace out